Hi everybody and happy spring! Today we are doing an art project that celebrates the life and artwork of Beatrix Potter, who is the author of Peter Rabbit. Our principle of art today is variety. Beatrix Potter was an English author and illustrator. When she was a child, she loved to draw her many pets. She even had a pet bat. When Beatrix Potter got older, she wrote over 14 books for children. She is most famous for writing and illustrating the tale of Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit is a naughty little bunny that loves to eat vegetables like carrots from Mr. McGregor's garden. This story is so popular it has even been made into a TV show and a movie. Peter Rabbit even has his very own website with lots of fun crafts and activities. Check it out! For this project, you will need a white piece of paper, a watercolor paint set, don't forget the brush and the water, and you can use a paper towel for cleanup if you want to. Draw a circle in the middle of your paper, then drag your paint downwards to make a carrot shape. Then, swish some green and add some long skinny stems, then dots of green for the leaves. When you're making your carrot shapes, don't worry about them being perfect. Carrots come in all different shapes, sizes, colors, widths, lengths. When you dot your leaves, dot them all over and in bunchy, some close together, some far apart. To add color variety to your carrots, swish together your orange and red. Swish a little orange, swish a little red, and you'll get a beautiful dark orange carrot. If you want a lighter orange carrot, swish some orange, swish some yellow, swish some orange, and you'll get a dark yellow or lightish orange carrot. The more you swish your colors, the more variety you will have in your picture. The same thing goes with the stem. Don't forget to swish green and yellow to get a variety of green hues in your carrot stems. You can see that every time I do this project, I end up with a wide variety of carrots. When you are done, use a paper towel to dab the mixed up paint out of each paint cup in your watercolor set. That way, your yellow isn't too mucky next time you use it. Thanks for joining us and good work today. Keep creating and keep learning.